Asad Malik from Behind the Gloves, delighted to be joined by Sam Kinnick of Kinnick Promotions. First of all, Sam, I just want to congratulate you. What a show tonight. Your first one, I believe, at Tunbury, at Scotland, the Donald Trump Golf Course. How, what, how successful do you think the show went tonight? Um, massively successful, as you say, first show here. Um, it was a complete sellout. We were sold out, actually, two weeks prior. Uh, we announced it a week prior not to jump the gun. Um, but yeah, sold out event, um, really good fights. We had six fights, three titles. Uh, Big Daddy Lucas Brown, former WBA heavyweight champion of the world on. So yeah, delighted with how it's went. So. Every single fight was a thriller. Every single one of them. Too thrilling for my liking. You've lost your voice, I can see as well. All the screaming, all the animation. Um, Daddy, Big Daddy Lucas Brown. But the main event, I think that stole the show of the night. Um, how exciting was that for you? That was obviously a Kinnick fighter as well. Yeah. Lightweight champion, I believe that was for the Scottish title. So, Calvin McCord, newly crowned Scottish lightweight type champion. But down in the first round, blatant slip ruled a knockdown 10-8 next round gets clipped square legitimate 10-8 so two rounds in we're four rounds down we had cuts to the cuts to the eye cuts to the back of the head a hematoma appearing on the side of Calvin's head and then he hurt Marek dropped him next round came out closed the show dropped him and he didn't beat the count so very dramatic and I think that was the eighth round um, but yeah very dramatic and what fans really paid for you know so um, I credit to Marek and to Calvin what support every single fighter bought um, and I believe it was a sold out event just speaking all on the main event um, from McCord with your fighter Sam I mean I, I believe it's still early in his career but how quickly do you want to progress your fighters and make sure that they're getting the right fights and getting matched correctly yeah, so it's obviously various from boxer to boxer. That was only Calvin's sixth fight. He's going into a 10 rounder against the more seasoned professional, but Calvin had well in excess of 100 amateur fights. He's performed well thus far in his pro career, so we're happy to take that risk. And we won't be looking beyond Scottish area level now, but we'd like to remain at that, defend the title, and just keep him busy. Um, and it's, the same applies for every boxer, you know. Dean Sutherland, that was up first tonight, had an interesting step up against Ryan Toms, former Southern Area champion, knocked out Fred Evans last year. and. I build it as a test and it proved to be just that. I didn't feel Dean was quite himself tonight, but he got the job done, got the win. And that's what it's about. It's about incremental step-ups. And if guys lose, then they lose for a reason. They need to assess that. But if they win, they learn from it rather than, you know, the second fight to move on to that. Chris Wood against Victor Adaga. Victor was very negative. Didn't make for a great spectacle. Hard night for Chris. Um, that's frustrating, but it's, it's part of the game. You know, you're going to get people sometimes to do that. Experiences. 100%. Uh, with uh, Jay McFarlane, obviously he wasn't on the car tonight, uh, I was speaking to Jay earlier on, he said he would love to be on the show, it was his birthday, would have been a present for him as well, when's, when's Jay back out next? Well Jay's present was a free ticket and overnight stay at the show so it been nice enough, but um, Jay's out 6th of April, so just a matter of weeks away, um, we've got a show at the Paisley Lagoon, we've got him on that, so um, yeah. He's shaping up well and um, just looking to really try and find someone to challenge him for the Scottish Cruiserweight title and then progress him from there. So he's looking good in the gym. Uh, we get some really good sparring and, and yeah. Speaking of Paisley Lagoon, uh, for the viewers, Sam, could you tell me a little bit more about Kinnick Promotions plans for 2019, where the shows are going to be, where they can find them, how they can follow, obviously, yourself on social media and stuff? So the best platforms on which to follow are your usual social media. Let's just look up Kynock Boxing on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Um, I mean, tonight was billed as a dinner show, but we had six fights, as I say, three championships, two undefeated Scottish boxers and a former world heavyweight champion. So hence we've sold out 750 people in here tonight. Um, it was the biggest function ever in this venue, irrespective of it being boxing or not. So that's a good box to tick as it were for our first venture in Ayrshire. We are back here in September and May I'm going to Aberdeen for my first promotion, a joint venture with David McAllister. So we're kind of just spending things out geographically throughout Scotland, keeping our boxers busy and keeping the fans happy by putting on regular events. And tickets and stuff like that as well, people can find on your social media platform. Yeah, absolutely. As always, direct from boxers where people can do so, but failing that, they get in touch with us through social media. Yes, yeah, so we advertise. Some are sold online, some people can just email and then we sort out payment from there. Sam, I just want to take your sort of views on uh, Lucas Brown. What did you make of his performance tonight? I thought he was good. Um, I thought it was a slip in relation to the knockdown that was called and to be awarded it by one point I think was very harsh I think he won every round apart from the slip I thought he controlled it nicely um, 
Camille Sokolowski is one tough man because he took some serious, serious shots. Um, but I thought Lucas performed well. Um, going into the Dillian White fight, he wasn't in good condition. He'd been inactive. So he's looking to rectify that for the Dave Allen fight, which is purported to happen in April. So hence went to box tonight. He picked Sokolowski. His manager and myself both said potential banana skin here. He's a tough man. Six rounds, anything can happen. As evidenced by the slip. Another slip we're looking at. He's on the wrong side of a, a one-point decision prior to a huge fight. So um, I thought he looked really well in there. And um, outside of that, he's been here for a week. And just what a gentleman, what, what a nice man. And his coach, Jay Gray, um, from over in Perth, Australia. It's just been a pleasure to have around. So Can I get a cheeky wee production for you? For uh, Dave Allen and Lucas Brown, what do you think? Judging on Dave Allen's last performance, I don't know if you've seen it. Um, and also Lucas Brown's performance, which obviously you've seen ringside tonight. How do you think that fight plays out? Um, Dave Allen's a really good boxer and comes across as a really nice guy. From a boxing perspective, I'm definitely going to pick Brown. Um, I think that Allen is a tough man and he comes to fight, but he's not hard to find. And I think Lucas's movement is, is improving, his, his mobility is far increased from what it was before and he's still got that power. So I think that the, the power will be the key and just he's a naturally bigger man, Brown. So I definitely pick Brown and I, if I had to be definitive in it, I'd go for a late stoppage. Did you see the pictures exchanged between the two on social media? I wasn't particularly interested in them, no, I saw them, but um, I wish I could didn't see them, if I'm honest. A bit of banter. Jay McFarlane wanted a piece of that action as well. <laughs> no, and you don't want to be seeing that either, so, no, it's good. It's good for the sport, um, obviously great for ourselves, working with Rich Energy, who are now behind Lucas, to be able to put them on a promotion like this in Scotland is a real pleasure, um, and yeah, I'll hopefully be at the big fight there with Lucas, and, and fully rooting for him, because as I say, he's, he's a great guy. Sam Kinnock from Kinnock Promotions, again delighted to be joined by him. Sasad Malik from Behind the Gloves signing off. Hey Fi fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. And we also have a free app available on iTunes and Google Play. So make sure you go ahead and download that. Bye Fi fans.